Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this. Well, they actually sent me a video of this man, but he doesn't have any talking on it. And he's using a CNC router to router out a 2.5, no, a six millimeter groove, 2.5 millimeters thick or deep. And he's using flexible LED lights or neon light type product. And then at the end of the video, he actually, you know, like these two pieces, he links them together somehow. And it looks pretty cool. And if I understand the gentleman right, the person that's going to help him is going to need uh, like the groove in blue and the outline in red because it's some sort of CNC router type deal. And he can do it himself. So just pick a font that you like. Uh, and play around with it. And, and uh, this is a perfect tool for the three-point curve line. And I'm going to show you here and just say, there's really no way to contour a letter. So if we do this and you, and you played around with it enough to get kind of a smooth, so I'm going to continue doing the A. <clears throat> and then I'm going to show him and you how to, let me... Um, let me delete this line. So we're gonna, I'm using the three point curve line. It's a good use for this. And I'm gonna go from about there to there and then I'm gonna, well, take it back. Let's back up. Let's don't go so far. Let's go like from here and curve it down and we can always change it. So I'm, as long as you stay on that node, you are creating a curve line. And don't worry about that you're not in the center yet because that all can be fixed. And I'm, I'm thinking that needs to kind of be joined right there. And then you can take the shape tool and do a number of things. You know, we can try deleting nodes and see what happens. That didn't really work too well. But then when you get your handles, so this might take a little bit of time, but it would be well worth it. Um, and it's about the only way to do it. So we could maybe drag that one down. We want smooth, smooth turning, you know, to make it look like an A. And, you know, this is going to take a little bit of time, but it's not too bad. And then join those two together and um, you don't want them really overlapping. So we're going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete that part. I know very little about CNC routering. Um, this, this could actually be done with a laser, uh, both of them. I'm gonna, I might even post that video at the end uh, so you get an idea and you can always add nodes and bring it down and just kind of play with it till you get a smooth part and kind of make it look like the A. And I'm going to I need to really finish this to show off the rest of the video on what else to do. So then I'm gonna go from here to here. I'm gonna go real quick. I need to grab the three point curve. I'm gonna go real quick and not explain too much because I just wanna get the next step done. So I'm not gonna to worry too much about being in the middle. And you can see like right there, that's kind of a straight line. The three point curve can be used as a straight line if you just you know, uh, double click on it so let's say this is good and it's not too bad. I'm going to, I'm going to fix this H or this N. I was going to use the name of the video, but I can't even uh, distinguish if it's an R or an N or an I. And let me zoom in a little bit because I need a, I need a round corner right here and this thing. Looks like the handle's all the way, yeah, there we go. And you could play around with this, you know, forever. But that didn't look too bad. I think we're good. I need to bring this line to here. But then he wants to contour it. And if he changes, you know, the color, if he evidently got Corel, so he'll be able to change the color himself. But I might change it when we're done. That really needs to go up, but that's, beside the point. So now let's take our text and let's nudge it out of the way. 
and we don't really need the center of the the A because the neon's going to make it. Unless he needs it, he can just do the same thing. So now we have this single line font, and you you can see you could do a lot better job. And you know, once you're not really tracing the um, the real factor, you could really play around with this and and make it your own font. Um, kind of get it more rounder. But anyway, I'm going to call that good. So his question was, how can he contour it? And I think it'll contour right now. So we'll go to effects. Well, take it back. He needs these lines to be six millimeters thick. So we're going to change our points to millimeters, and we're going to type in six. And then I'm going to go to, and I don't know if that'll work. I'm going to go to object, convert the outline to an object, and then I'm going to left click, right click, and now you have six millimeter lines, and you would most definitely probably want to weld this. Let's see what happens. And it worked. So you'll have continuous line. So these lines should be six millimeters uh, across. So I'm gonna to have to go up here and change my to millimeters. It might not change the parallel dimension tool. So I got 5.99 millimeters. So, and you can play around with that. Now what he needs to do to, is create a contour for this neon to kind of shine through. <clears throat> and his friend that's doing this for him will have to figure out the depth to set this wire. It's a really cool video. I didn't know things like that existed. And like right here, I don't like that. Um, you can take it now and take the shape tool and just bring that into here and then delete those, basically delete those two lines and get you a perfect, and we might've changed up the thickness, but I don't think that's all that important. And I've got a little bit of a hook, hiccup here. I don't know how that happened, but um, you'll have to just contour it a couple of times and look for mistakes like that, but it should be, it should be six millimeters. Now let's do the contour. See if the contour will work on this. I might have to make a, a um, outline first. We're gonna contour the outside. He didn't say how far. Tell you what, I don't know millimeters. So I'm gonna change this back to inches. I'm gonna see how big this thing is. It's 26 inches across by seven inches. So I'm gonna say, let's contour it um, six inches. That's too much. Let's contour it two inches. <clears throat> and I think that's it, or close, and you can play around with that. Now, one thing when you do contour, you can either contour to round corners, like we're using, or you could do square corners, and it's not gonna work. So you need to make sure you're on round corners to kind of follow the graph. Now, he was talking about he needs the contour line in red. Just make it, well, we have to go to object, break contour apart, get these two apart, make the contour in red and whatever, you know, his friend needs hairline or whatever you need. And then he needed this in blue, so, and uh, I don't know whatever his machine's gonna take as far as blue, but you can make the, the inside blue. And then he's just gonna have to set the depth. I'm gonna put a link to this video because it's pretty interesting to watch this young man do this and connect these wires, and he turns them on at the end. <clears throat> anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.